Hi guys, so um, today I want to talk about the acne.org acne treatment and basically my experience using this and the pros and the cons. So when I, I bought this product over a year ago and when I decided to buy it, I was on YouTube and I came across a video saying that it did really well treating acne so I started watching a lot of YouTube videos about this product as well as reading up. After watching the videos I decided that mm -hmm, I it looks reasonable so I decided to go online and purchase it. The shipping was pretty fast and after I got the product it tells you to use start off with pea size and then after a while you keep using more so I decided to get it because I lived in a tropical island before and I didn't like the texture of especially my forehead it was dry all the time and I had small bumps just from the heat and also acne so I decided to try it out um, I got the package with the treatment the treatment um, the AHA Plus. I've never used this before and I got the jojoba oil which I still use to remove makeup or just anything and I got the moisturizer and the um, cleanser however I don't have those two with me right now because I use them so I started off using it and I used a little at the time because I didn't have bad acne so I started using it and I started at night. I didn't do it every morning just because they don't recommend using makeup with it and I wanted to use makeup sometimes. So I didn't do it all the time and when I watched the videos I didn't get all the details. So after you start using it for a while, I've seen this, I've heard this before that you know your face will start getting really really dry and that's why they have their moisturizer which is really moisturizing so you would wash your face and not touch your face too hard or try not to touch your face a lot you'd wash your face and then apply the treatment leave it to dry for five ten minutes something like that and then after that's dry then you use the moisturizer and you'd stay away from your eye area because that area is really sensitive so I did that and because I know my skin can be like I tried not I used a really small amount so after a while my skin was drying up but however it was you know I saw improvements I was having less bumps and after about probably a month month and a half I really had no bumps I only got one bump one or two bumps very rarely however the process to me was the most difficult part I had to the moisturizer it takes a while to soak into the skin it takes a while to dry so I don't do it before I go to bed and then I, when I'm going to bed I would have this wet thing on my face so sometimes I slept on a small towel I, I'll place a small towel over my pillow and I would sleep on that that was really uncomfortable for me the second issue which no one really spoke about is that I realized that my pillowcase my towels and everything they were being bleached and for example this is one of them so as you could see the color so for a while I didn't really think oh this must be bad if it's bleaching my stuff so I still used it for a while and I continued using it until I realized that my face was getting really sensitive and that was probably two months, two and a half months and even at that time I wasn't using a lot because I was still I was getting the results so I tried not to use a lot just to make sure that I was not overpowering my face with chemicals so I realized that whenever I rubbed my eyes or I scratched my face, touched my face, it would get red and really tender. And so, yeah, that's why I stopped using it. A year ago, I stopped. And after I stopped using it, 
my face um didn't stay the same i get bumps now however it didn't go back to the way it was before like it's still better so do i regret buying it no would i buy it again no because i don't want to damage my skin just because i'm trying to get rid of bumps so yeah for me that's my story and that's what this product did for me and thank you for watching